Hey guys, it's SD. Get a little bit of wind today, 11 to uh, almost sometimes 20 mile an hour, I guess. Little Belgrade Mini's doing pretty good. Solar panels already gone to float mode. It's later on in the afternoon, around 3 o'clock already. But uh, earlier today, the solar panels were had the batteries at 29.9, and then the wind was still kicking up. And uh, two charge controllers were fighting back and forth, seeing who was going to try to put up the most power in it. So this controller here was controlling the solar panels. And when the uh, this classic here was putting 10, 15 amps into it, this would drop back down in power. And it didn't need as much. Now it's gone completely to float. It's only putting in like 7 amps in it. Uh, this one's at bulk. MPPT right now, but the winds died down. I should be going to rest now. I just now went to rest. Let's see if we can catch another wind gust. But anyway, last night went ahead and ran the power from here into the house, down and out, and ran it up in the house. The other box where that guy wire is at is for the two Ethernet connections that come down, and that's where it went under underground and into the shed right there. But we're going to try to pull the two Ethernet connections. I used that guy wire to fish it down in through the wire. Worked pretty good, nice and smooth. We'll try to pull those tonight and that'll go to each of the classics so I can control them from my laptop inside there. But uh, we've gotten 15 amps a few times here and there. Uh, I still gotta get into this uh, with a laptop and uh, program the power curve. What's inside there now is just uh, stock settings. So once you get the power curve program there, the output should be quite a bit better. But uh, it's coming along. My uh, nephew actually got to use uh, off-grid power to run his computer and stuff last night. I ran mine and batteries never got below 24.4, so that's pretty good. You can see, I don't know if the camera will catch the uh, actual blade speed. Let's see if we can catch some input here. That's seven, six volts, six amps, I mean, now. I know this, using this uh, phone doesn't work very well. Doesn't focus in as well as the, uh, the digital camera I had, so I gotta dig that out of the boxes and find it someplace. Let's see if I can capture this at all. It's only like two, two amps right there. about four amps at that time. It's staying pretty consistent. There's 12 amps. And batteries are still staying up there. Another seven amps. 13 amps, 14, 16 amps. But I've got my computer and, and the monitor running and uh, the inverters showing it's uh, 26, roughly 27 volts in. It's only pulling 8 amps off the set, whole setup. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys can see this. It looks, looks like it's clear on the little viewfinder on the phone. It's only like four amps at a time. Next two days is supposed to be fairly windy, so we'll see if I can get this adjusted. There was eight amps at a time. Need to take those small blades off and put some bigger, bigger ones on it. Do a lot better. But, like I say, we just got this thing set up. Still got to run the Ethernet cables in there tonight, and then I can get it fine-tuned some more. Talk with my buddy Orlando out of uh, Barstow, California. 
and I uh, got the information I needed to uh, build a better 24 volt setup. I start cutting the metal here as soon as I can get a plasma cutter and uh, get that thing up. It'll definitely won't be able to fly on this uh, inch and a quarter black pipe. It'll have to come down. So there she goes. She's kicking there. All right, guys. We'll take care. We'll see you later. Bye. -bye.